Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Good day, class. Today, we are going to have a quick road safety lesson. Step one, always stop when you get to the road. Step two, you have to make sure to look left, right, and left again. And as soon as you don't hear or see any more cars, then you are free to cross the road. Remember everyone, Look left, right, and left again. Now everyone, I hope that you will continue to cross the road safely. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Hartung and our theme this week is plants and growth. Now, before we get into any lessons, remember we have to, that's right, sanitize. We have to make sure we rub in the sanitizer very carefully to keep away the germs. Now let's see what are we going to do today. Our lesson today will be about possessive nouns, money and verbs in simple past tense. We are now going to do possessive pronouns. Before we start, let's first turn our booklets to page 28. Now, here it says, the possessive pronoun stands alone and it replaces the noun. Let's look at the example. These are my books. Then it means, these are mine. Okay, now in the instruction it says, write the correct possessive pronoun for each sentence. For example, if it says, that car belongs to me, then you can also say, that car is mine. Okay, so that now makes it a possessive pronoun because it shows what the noun owns. Okay, so I am going to do a few examples with you and see um, what we can come up with. Let's quickly have a look at the board. Now what I've done, I just took out these pronouns and we are now going to see how we are going to change them. Now, the first sentence in the booklet, it reads, number one, the photo, uh, sorry, that photograph belongs to them. That photograph is blank okay so if it says that photograph belongs to them then what will we put in here now let's quickly go back to the top of the page you will see on the right hand 
corner of the rectangle or the block on top, there you will find a list of words. Now you have to choose from this list of words. Can you see? Okay, so those are the uh, possessive pronouns. You must choose from those possessive pronouns to see which one replaces the noun. So let's quickly come back to number one where it says that photograph belongs to them. So in this case, our noun will then be the word them. Okay, and then we will have to say that photograph is theirs. There we go. So on the board, what I have done, I just took out these uh, nouns and we are now just going to write in the correct possessive noun. Okay, so them will change to theirs. So the photograph will then be theirs. Let's quickly look at number two. Number two reads, that bracelet belongs to me. So the word that we took out here is the word me. So we say that bracelet is mine. There we go. That bracelet is mine. Now let's look at number three. This suitcase belongs to us. So we look at us. That means this suitcase is, which word do you think fits best here? This suitcase is ours. That's right, grade threes. Now let's do the last one together. These football boots belong to him. Can you tell me which possessive noun we are going to take out here? It's the word him. Okay, so this is our possessive pronoun. And then we say these football boots are his. Okay, so we say these football boots are his. Okay. Can we quickly come to the board and then we fill in the words here as we have just read them. So the word me, we said changes to mine. The word us will change to the word ours. And the word him changes to the word his. Okay, so now boys and girls, using these examples and the ones you have in your booklet, you can now go ahead and complete the rest of your sentences. I hope you'll have fun doing this. We'll see you after the ad break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. In this part of the lesson, we are going to talk about money. Let's turn our booklets to page 29. Now there you will see you have some pictures of notes and coins again. In the first part it says, add all the notes and coins together. Now you will see that you have two blocks. In the one block, you have some notes and coins and in the second block you have more notes and coins. So you have to add up all the notes and all the coins in each block. I am going to do the first one with you. Now let's quickly have a look at the picture. What notes and coins do you see there? I see a $50 note, a $10 note, $20 note, one $5 coin, and one $1 coin. Okay, 
Now I have only written down the values on the board for you. So let's quickly look at the values and add them all together. So we said there is a $50 note, 20 Namibian dollar note, there's a 10 Namibian dollar note, one $5 coin and a $1 coin. Okay, now we have to add them all together. So zero plus zero plus zero is equal to zero. Then we add five and five plus one equals to six. Okay, then we take five plus two is seven and seven plus one gives you eight. So our total for the first block will then be 86 Namibian dollars. Okay, so that means you can now also go ahead and add up all the values like this to add your money together. Okay, now before we continue and finish our work, let's quickly look at the second part of the lesson. Let's go back to page 29. There it says, help Bia work out how much change she must get if, number one, I have also done for you. So how much change will Bia get if the box of pies cost $61 and she paid with a $100 note. Meaning, if Bia pays with $100 and the pies that she bought only cost $61, how much will she get change? So, we have to do some subtraction. So, we take the $100 and we subtract $61. One dollars. Now let's quickly do the sum together to see if my answer is correct. So zero minus one, can we do that? Unfortunately not. So we have to go borrow. Can we borrow from the number zero? No, we cannot. So we go further and borrow from number one. So we take the number one and we put it there. So now we have 10. So now we can borrow one to this zero again. So we have nine left. So now we go ahead and we say 10 minus one equals to nine. Do you agree with me? Wonderful. Then we go ahead and we say nine minus six. Can we minus 6 from 9? Yes, we can. So 9 minus 6 equals to 3. Can we go further? Do we have anything else to subtract? No, we don't. So that means that Bia will have 39 Namibian dollars change. Okay. So now, grade threes, you can go ahead and finish everything. Remember, first go add up all the values for your second block. You can always write it down if you feel it is necessary. Add it all together and write it in your booklet. And then you go and you can then read the rest of the questions and work out the change Bia should get. I hope that you will enjoy doing these activities. I will see you after this ad break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages.
In the last part of our lesson today, we are going to look at verbs in simple past tense. Now, let's quickly go to page 30 in our booklets. Now, here it says, complete the story, fill in the blanks by changing the words in brackets to its past tense. Now, let's quickly have a look at the story. You will see there where you have blank spaces. Just next to it, you have words in bold letters in brackets. Can you see those words? Excellent. Now, while we have a good look at these words, can we just quickly look at what these words are? We have own, live, visit, work, check, look, help, and cleaned. Sorry, clean. Okay, just clean. Okay, now, if you have a look on the board, what I have done for you already, I took all those words that we just read and I put them in their past tense already. So, I'm not going to tell you where each word fits. You will have to put it in yourself just now. So, before we go, let's first read through the words. So, the word own is now owned. Love, loved. Visit, visited. Work, worked. Check, checked. Remember, grade threes, these words are in its past tense. Look now becomes looked. Help, helped. And clean, cleaned. Okay. Now, grade threes, I want us to go back to the story on page 30. And I am going to read the first part with you. And I am going to put in the past tense version of the word so that it makes sense. So I want you to listen carefully and maybe even write in the words as I read them. So the story goes as follows. When I was a child, my grandparents owned a farm. We lived in the city, but my sister and I visited my grandparents. Every summer we worked on the farm. In the morning my grandfather and I checked on all the animals. I looked after the pigs. I helped my grandfather feed them and my sister and I cleaned their pens. Now, boys and girls, I want you to go ahead and finish the rest of the story. Remember, look at the words in brackets and then you change it to its past tense. Now, I hope you will have fun finishing this activity. We will be back after the break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have come to the end of our lesson today. Now, before we go home, before we end off, remember boys and girls, we always have to remember to sanitize. Remember, if you don't have sanitizer, you can always just wash your hands with water and soap for about 10 seconds. Now, before we go, my friend Soshi promised me that we are going to go plant some flowers. So, oh, there he is. I was just about to call Soshi. Soshi, you are quite on time today. So, boys and girls, from Soshi and I, we say goodbye.
Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.